Hi, today I'm going to show you how to solve a pair of simultaneous equations by eliminating the x values. So just to recap, if you ask to solve simultaneous equations you need to work out the values of x and y so it gives you the numbers in both equations. So in the first example here uh, we're looking for a value for x and y which gives us 10 in the first equation, a value for x and y which also gives us 6 in the second equation. Right, first step then, you need to make the values before x the same. Uh, you can do this by multiplying the two equations which you already have. A quick trick is to multiply the first equation by 3 and the second equation by 4. So if you multiply the first equation by 3, you get 12x plus 6y equals 30. And if you multiply the second equation by 4, you get 12x plus 4y equals 24. So as you can see, our two new equations both have the number before x the same. So this means we can eliminate these x values by taking the equations away. So 12x take away 12x gives 0x, so don't bother writing this down. 6y take away 4y is 2y and 30 take away 24 is 6. So we've ended up with the equation 2y equals 6. All you have to do next is solve this simple equation by dividing both sides by 2. So this will give y is equal to 3. So we've worked out our y solution. All we need to do now is find the x solution. To get x you need to substitute this value of y back into either the first equation or the second equation. It doesn't matter which equation you choose as both equations will give you the same answer. So let me go with the first equation. So let me write it down again. So for sub in y equals 3, we get 4x plus 2 times 3 equals 10. So let's work out 2 times 3, that is 6. So we've ended up with the equation 4x plus 6 equals 10. So finally we just need to solve this equation to work out x. So the opposite to plus 6 is to take away 6. So you get 4x equals 4. And then all you need to do next is divide both sides of the equation by 4. And that will give you an answer of x equals 1. So, as you can see now, we have our final answer, x equals 1, y equals 3. Um, you could write this final answer down as a coordinate. Because this is the point where, if you had to draw these two equations on a graph, the solution is where the two lines intersect. So, let's move on to example 2. This one's a little bit trickier because we have some negative values here. So again we need to make the numbers before x the same. In this example here, we only have to multiply one of the equations. So we just need to multiply the second equation by 3. So if I co just copy out the first equation one more time. And let's multiply the second equation by 3. So that will give me 3x minus 9y equals 24. So to eliminate the x then we need to take away the equations because 3x take away 3x is 0x. So if we do the same for the y's, 2y take away minus 9y. The two negatives in the middle become positive so it's actually the same as doing 2y add 9y. That gives 11y and the numbers at the end 2 take away 24 is negative 22. So again we just have a simple equation here with y in. 
So if we just solve this equation by dividing both sides by 11, you get a solution of y equals minus 2. So again, substitute this value back into one of the first two equations. Uh, let me go with the first equation again. So let's go 3x plus 2y equals 2. So if we sub in y equals minus 2, you'll get 3x plus 2 times minus 2 equals 2. So 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. So we've ended up with the equation of 3x minus 4 equals 2. So if we just solve this equation now, so the opposite to minus 4 is plus 4. So we get 3x equals 6. And then x is now being times by 3, so if we divide both sides by 3, we get x equals 2. So our solution is 2, minus 2.